if we have good quality training, good quality uh, accommodation, we use good quality equipment, and we also want like good quality uh, apparel. Things that you want to brand, you got to look for quality. You know, the price and then and sometimes the quality too, you know, the quality is the most important. What you put out there, you know, what you, you want to represent the brand well. And a product goes hand in hand with your reputation. If they see a product falling apart, they then associate that with, with, with their experience with you, even though it may have happened afterwards. And if you don't represent the brand well and you give them a cheap t-shirt and they have a hole within the first week of wearing it, that's not going to go over well with them thinking about, oh, Rain's a quality gym. No, they're going to think, oh, wow, these are cheap shirts. I never thought. Be able to feel good about the clothing that you're wearing and to be able to represent a gym, it's all encompassing. It's so nice to see like the, they're using you know, the shirt or like you know, the patch on the back. It's like, you know, they, I mean, they are proud of it as well. They, they, they are proud to, to, to represent us. If you wanted to risk uh, going with, with uh, some products where you don't know, like say, for example, Pakistan, where the factory is not around the corner, you can't check the quality, you're being sent items, um, you don't know when you order again, whether you're going to be the same, sent the same quality of items when you put in a large order, for example. You're going to rack up costs in trying them sending products back, which they're not going to do. You trying to resend products to them because you're trying to provide a good customer service to them. So it's, it's just not worth the risk.